Bonjour, how you doing? Wherever you come from in this world, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I am Sarah Styles, and I am back with another video for you today. Happy Makeup Monday! I have a makeup related video for you. It is a tutorial on this look right here, and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye! Alright, hey you guys! We're gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna be kind of doing more of a chit chat video. So I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows, as you can see. I'm gonna be going for a more dewy look on the face. And then for the eyes today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette that I love. I'm going to start by priming with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I'm going for a more dewy look. I decided to use the hydrating one because obviously it's going to hydrate my face and give it that look. I've been spraying my face with this Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. I'm just going to spray this. For foundation today, I'm using the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. This is the Argan Oil Foundation Fluid. I love this. This is in the color Euphoric. And like I said, this has argan oil in it. And so it's made of like all natural ingredients. And I really love it. It has a good amount of coverage. And it has argan oil. So it's very dewy looking. Um, which I love because I have dry skin. So I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand, like such as. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is taking small sections of my face. So like, for example, I'll just kind of start doing this bottom section of my face and then blending it out as I go. I just like building everything up gradually. Now we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to keep rolling, dotting and dabbing. Hashtag Daunton and <laughs> Hashtag Daunton and Dabin. I've had a lot of texture on my forehead recently. The rest of my face has been doing pretty good, but my forehead is just like, oh, sorry. We're gonna look like um, some sand dunes. Okay, so next step is concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light. I am a big fan, and I think it gives really good coverage. It has this very distinct smell. I'm not sure if I particularly like the smell. It's a nice cosmetic-y smell. Down the nose. That's the thing about going down my nose. It's such a thick wand that I can't do like a little bitty stripe. Or if I do, I just have to be very careful. Oh, and what I've started doing with my under eye concealer is I start at the very bottom and start blending it out into my cheeks and kind of up towards my temples just gradually and then working in towards my eyes. Oh, I don't know if you follow me on Twitter. If you don't, you should. My Twitter will be either linked down below or on the screen here somewhere. But the other day I was cleaning my makeup brushes and I was in my bathroom and I have a lot of makeup brushes and it takes a long time. And I literally broke out in a sweat. Like I started getting like hot flashes and I tweeted it and I just thought it was so funny. So you should go follow me. So it's powder time you guys. And what do you know? I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I just feel really bad for not um, using different products. I just don't want you guys to get bored. So I always have to point that out. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm using the same thing. I want to keep the face dewy. I don't want to like mattify the whole thing. But I think what I'm going to do is just kind of take whatever is left on this beauty sponge and just kind of go over the rest of my face. I think I'm gonna do a cream contour and then put a little bit of bronzer on top. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. And we're gonna draw a nice little line. I always brush up a little bit. It almost looks like a nice um, toothbrush or like a nice um, porcupine. I'm just gonna do two little rainbow shapes on my temples and then just one little line connecting the rainbows. <laughs> oh, and don't forget the jaw. So I'm taking this Real Techniques stippling brush and I'm gonna spray this with that Mario Badescu water just to make sure that we get a good blend. And I'm just blending that 
kind of back. All right, we blend in the forehead now. And like I said, just blend up into the hairline. So I'm just gonna go over that with a little bit of the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I'm just gonna kind of dust that right over where we put the LA girl. I received this blush in the mail from Sephora because it was my birthday month and they have that little thing where they send you a birthday gift. It's in the color party, but with three A's. So it's like, party. Like, they know me. Like, they know I'm trying to party. Like, they know my vibe. And I'm using this Mary Kay cheek brush. So I'm just kind of sweeping that on the apples. So I never really use eyeshadow primer. I usually just use whatever concealer I used. So I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape. There's already a little crease in right here, so we'll just add a little bit more. I bring it up all around all areas of my lid. As always, I'm using the La Mercier Translucent Powder. This just makes your eyeshadow go on so much better. Now the star of the show, the Modern Renaissance Palette, my girl. So for my transition shade, I'm gonna be using this shade. This is called Warm Taupe. I always tap off with this palette because you just have to. And I'm just gonna kinda start very lightly, kinda on the outer corner, some windshield wiper motions. So I'm gonna be using this like right in the crease, but then I'm gonna be smoking it out with a little bit of an orangey color. I'm gonna take this burnt orangey shade. It's called Real Gar. Real gar. <laughs> and I'm gonna blend it right above that warm taupe color. See, like, I barely touched that shadow, and it's already, like, very orange. <laughs> Blended to perfection. I'm gonna be using this color Antique Bronze right here, and it is so gorgeous, and it's so warm, but not too red. And so I want a lot of this color, so I'm gonna be taking it on my ring finger, patting it right in there, start closer to my lash line, and then blend out and up. See how gorgeous, oh. And I just think colors like this make your eyes pop so much, like no matter what eye color you have, especially blue. I would love to see this lid color on someone with blue eyes. This is the part where we blend and add more color and blend and add more color. I don't think I'm gonna need that much more on the lid, but I wanna make sure that I get this color all the way up to the crease. Now I'm gonna be using this color right here. So to deepen up the outer corner, I'm gonna be using this color Cypress Umber just to kind of deepen that up. And also it kind of creates this like cool, eye, like fake eyeliner almost kind of thing. So you just wanna stay really low right here and then also if you want you can just kind of start flicking it out and just kind of swipe outwards for the bottom lash line i'm going to be taking that antique bronze color on a pencil brush so just very tightly next i'm going to take that color real gar real gar well whatever the heck smoke it out honey and you can kind of connect it from the outer corner to kind of the top where we blended that shade out. All right, so for inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm gonna be using this palette right here. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. I'm gonna be taking the colors Escape and Compass. So this top one right here is Escape. This one on the side right here is Compass. So since we're on the more bronze side, I went for a more bronzy inner corner highlight. I am gonna be putting on false lashes. These are the Kiss True Volume Lashes in Ritzy. Okay, so I just curled my eyelashes and before I put my falsies on, I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I just did one coat of that and I'm gonna go ahead and coat my bottom lashes as well. So now I'm just gonna place that right over my lashes. Lash number two. The lipstick I'm gonna be using today is by Laura Mercier. It's in the color Devotion. So girl, I'm just applying this all over. This color is so gorgeous. And the formula is to die. Now it is time for highlighter, and I'm gonna be using the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. But just going through that. 
this shade is so pretty with this eye look. Gotta keep it on and popping. And now, of course, to finish off the entire look, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. This is a great just go-to glam look if you're going out somewhere or if you just kind of need to step up your makeup but you're not wanting to like spend a whole bunch of time on some eyeliner or glitter or whatever. And I just think it would complement any skin tone, any eye color. So I will be going to college by the time that you are watching this video, I will be moved into college. And so things are gonna be really busy for me the next couple weeks and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to post once a week like I normally do. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope Sarah Styles made you smile and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!